How's it going everyone? Got a bit of news for you today. I passed my motorcycle theory and hazard perception test just a couple of days ago, so I'm one step closer to that full license. I was pretty confident with it anyway. I mean, I'd, it's all backwards that you have to do a theory test. You know, actually after you've been granted a, a license in the form of a CBT to then be able to go out on the road for up to two years. But then before you move on to a bigger bike, you then want to make sure you actually know how to ride and make sure you're safe. <laughs> but uh, I did my uh, car theory test about 10 years ago and back then we didn't have to do the hazard perception. So the first time I had to play this little computer game. Uh, but luckily, yeah, got through it all right. Got to five out of five on most clips. So the uh, st stupid thing is though, I got uh, 47 out of 50 on main, you know, main uh, multiple choice questions. But it doesn't tell you which questions you got wrong or what the right answer was. So I'm no safer than I was before I even did this test. I just still don't know which questions I got wrong. And I uh, obviously don't know the correct answer to them. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a big farce. But uh, I'm hopefully, oh, hopefully now going to... Uh, we've got our wedding in a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping to do my full... Uh, you know, full test and get my uh, bigger bike in between the wedding and the honeymoon, so uh, end of March sometime. I've uh, seen, I think I mentioned in, a, in previous videos what type of bike I was looking for. I'm, I'm aiming for a Yamaha Dragstar for my little project, project bike. And uh, I've seen one, back when I was, even before I got this bike, I was like looking to, you know, do my little plans. And uh, I actually saw one that looks pretty good because from 2005 onwards they did a, a particular one with uh, uh, blacked out uh, engine casings and all that, all sorts of blacked out bits, which is more my sort of thing than all the chrome. But it's obviously from 2005 onwards the, the price of them is a, bit, a little bit higher than, than what I'd be wanting to pay. But there's one of them that's for sale uh, fairly locally and um, it's got a few dints on the tank so I'm assuming that's why it's, it's listed for uh, a bit cheaper. So, and that, that's been available since like October and it's still available now. I'm, I'm assuming they, they, don't, uh, they don't buy and sell too quickly, you know, your, your smaller cruiser type bikes. So hopefully if I can get, uh, you know, get my test done, I might be able to pick that one up, which was the one I had my eye on, you know, months ago. Uh, I went to look at it and it looks uh, looks pretty nice. Some of these dents as well, obviously I'm, I'm doing a little project with it, so it's a good opportunity to get these dents fixed while it, uh, when it goes in for respraying. But uh, talking about new bikes, I'm out with uh, my sister's boyfriend today in front, and uh, obviously Roy I've been riding with a few times. The guys in front, no idea who they are, but <laughs> this is some uh, some train that we seems to have picked up on. He's got a new uh, Triumph. What is it? Uh, I, I always mix them up. Street Triple. <laughs> I'll have to have a look again when I uh, when I stop. I always mix it up between Speed and Street. Can't remember which one it is. I might be able to see if I get past them in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I can't see. But it's in lovely colour anyway. Street Triple. <laughs> Loads of accessories on it, including this loud exhaust, so I can't even hear what uh, what gear I'm in or anything. <laughs> he used to have an R6, and he'd uh, he got quite a good uh, good price for his, and and this uh, Triumph for apparently a good price, so it's uh, definitely a good buy. So he's enjoying that. So here's me trying to keep up on my little 125, so I definitely can't wait now to get that license and uh, get the bigger bigger bike. Even though it's only a 650 that I'm looking for, it, it, I've, I've read that the you know the pretty torque with it being a, a, a V-twin, um, it should be yeah, plenty for me. I'm not looking to tear around on it, I'm just oh, looking for something that'll uh, allow me to you know pull up to the speed limit quite easily and sit at a comfortable speed. Right, well that's about all I've got for you today, my little update. <laughs> um, hopefully if weather stays like this I'll be able to get a few more uh, rides in before wedding day. 
uh, then after I'll have to keep you posted on uh, how I go with my, uh, my few lessons and uh, try and get in for that test up uh, there's not much of a much of a waiting list so thanks for watching and uh, catch you all later